on, Wolfpack Nation. Welcome back here for another episode of the Tuffy of Tuffy Talk. Here again, I, again, I'm kind of getting into you know flustering those lines a little bit here because basically this is a continuation of our Tuffy party. Talk live show that we just got done with. So yeah, this is the Tuffy Talk live show after party after you know, dark you know, <laughs> after dark. Yeah. <laughs> so again, basically we're going to be continuing this. So if you have not seen our Tuffy Talk live show from December 5th yet, make sure to go check that out first. Not necessarily because. You know, if you haven't seen that, that you won't know what's going on here. It's just basically just more NC State talk. And anything that we don't discuss here, we probably discussed in, yep. in, in the live show. So make sure to go check that out first and foremost, and then come right back here. So with that being said, just as a reminder, again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're notified all your devices. Whenever we go live with any of our watch parties, with any of our live streams, with any of our episodes, any of our fun videos like our NC State trivia, and our NC State football senior shout out. Which again, if you haven't checked out either of those, definitely check out both of those first. Those were really, really fun and really, really quick videos as well. Um, but with that being said, again, kind of picking back up. So, uh, you know, obviously in the last episode, we talked a lot about Devin Leary, talked about Tim Beck, um, talked about wrestling. But obviously, I know a lot of people are really dying to talk about here is the Dukes Mayo Bowl, baby, against the old NC State. So, You're talking about Duke? Oh, I don't want to talk about Duke. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. The Maryland Terrapins. Oh, man. It, it, it's crazy to think about that we're playing Maryland in football once it's, again. Did you say the twerps? The twerps, said, yeah. Ter- yeah. Terrapins, yeah. The twerps. Yeah. The, the twerps. Terrapins. Yeah. But it, it's, it's, I mean, it is crazy to think about, you know, that, I mean, this long NC State, you know, Maryland rivalry is coming back once again in the ACC. Uh, you know, and uh, it's an, it's a rivalry we played seventy one times, and it's yeah. we're tied thirty three thirty three and with four ties. Mm-hmm. So this will break that tie. Will anybody ever forget the comeback State had against Maryland? Or forget the year 11. that we had a chance Before to go to the loss. ACC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. 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 So, some, some memorable games for sure there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a memorable two games. Uh, two games. I left sure. that game remember. against Maryland at home when we were down so big because we had family friend out of town or friends out of town, and I was like, yeah. you know what, I, I need to go home anyways. But then I was like, yeah. we won the game, <laughs> the greatest comeback <laughs> in NC State game? history. Yeah, I know. Well, and, I, and I was there for the first half, and I was a Fairweather fan for a second. Yeah. Well, and, and Greg, to your point, I would say from a numbers perspective. Yes, but from an sure. all-time greatness sure. perspective. That's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, no, that's uh, a great point. Yeah, Greg. So yeah. Just, just zip it, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> just zip it, Greg. Don't you even? Don't uh, you ever have an opinion ever again. <laughs> no opinions. Yeah. No, no but, right. uh, but you know, again, obviously it's an exciting game for sure. I mean, obviously highlighted <laughs> uh, by, uh, by the other uh, uh, Tagovailoa brother uh, starting yeah. For, yeah. for Maryland as well. Yeah. And then, obviously, too, even from an NC State perspective as well, you know, obviously, when you hear Maryland NC State, you automatically think about, you know, Debbie Yao, you know, starting off at Maryland and coming to NC State. So, definitely a little bit of a kind of a Yao rivalry between, you know, Maryland and NC State for that factor as well. Uh, but, you know, Michael, I mean, I mean, tell it to me. I mean, what was your reaction when you heard the Mayo Bowl? I mean, I think that that was kind of like the obvious choice for a couple of days ahead of time. Like, we didn't need the Joe Gillio yeah. yellow pad, you know, to, to give us that heads up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Joe's usually all over that, and he was pretty much saying Charlotte in the, in the Mayo yeah. Bowl the whole time for State. Um, yeah. It seemed like uh, as we were getting down to the end there, there was some uh, Bulls – selections with involving Notre Dame where we could have ended up in the Gator Bowl again but we, I think mm-hmm. we've played there two I don't, in too the last many like five years so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't really expect anything other than that but I mean mm-hmm. I I'm excited to play Maryland again like you said it's an old rivalry renewed um mm-hmm. I don't know I haven't I, I think the only Maryland game I've seen was when they played Michigan and they played them pretty close actually um yeah but yeah, it it should be interesting. Yep, and, and for those uh, just to FYI too, that again we actually are recording this on December fifth, and so any eyes which are a little bit off screen are because we're watching the end of the men's the women's basketball game versus Georgia. <laughs> well, just make sure we, we pull this out. Go ahead. I would it. argue I'm looking over here comparing pro- PFF stats for the for the teams. Oh, um, oh so okay. Do, okay. Wait, do, do we want to get too far into this because I think we need to have a whole bowl preview episode. So yeah, maybe yeah. we'll have to. 
yeah, I mean, I mean, we, we could just kind of talk initial reactions per se, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. and because then, I'm sure there'll be opt outs and everything too between we'll, now. Yeah, we'll and, yeah, yeah we'll leave the we'll are, leave the making teaser around. for that one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this well, is like the third time we played in this bowl that it's been a different name. How about that? That's an interesting stat, yeah, right? Because yeah, it was yeah, a car yeah. care tire bowl at one point. It was the belt bowl. bowl. Car now care the... tire bowl. Ugh. It was minor yeah, it was some kind of tire. It was something like tire. It was wasn't it tire? I think it was tire. Maybe probably. Is it, was belt right now? Bowl. Bowl. it was the Belk Bowl. It was the Mighty Heat Car Care Bowl. I, I, I threw Tyre yeah. in there, but, you know, yeah. just because it's how, because yeah. the bowl names get so crazy, right? Yeah. Dang it, Greg, that's the second strike today. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Mighty Heat Car Care Bowl. It's been the Belk Bowl. It's been, now it's yeah. the Mayo Bowl. It might have been yeah. another version of it, too, that we played in, but, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's, it's still for the third time and the first time since 2015. I want to say it was last time against yeah. Mississippi State, which we had no business being that in that game in the first no. place. We got boat so, We got, we got, uh, what did we get? We, we got donkey stomp. We, we got, got donkey, donkey stomp, stomped, baby. Yeah, <laughs> no, we was did. That Again, Dak? I, was Dak on it the was Dak. Dak Prescott. Yeah, that was, yeah, Dak. That was it was gross. Dude. It was a nasty bowl. Like, just weather wise, it was. I remember well, cold Fair and McKeever caught a really long pass, and that was, yeah, that was about the highlight. Yeah. But. I mean, again, I mean, when you look back at it, though, and you look at their records, I mean, because that was the year where Mississippi State was like, like, I think they got number one in the country at one point that season. Uh, and then you're looking at NC State going, <laughs> and we were, we, were, we were supposed to play against them? Holy smokes. Was like, Dan you know, Mullen um, the coach yeah. then? He was. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was. Yeah, before so, he went to Florida, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so again, definitely, uh, uh, you know, interesting change for sure. Uh, but, you know, one thing which I do want to kind of ask you, this is kind of a question, uh, you know, that got brought up is, uh, you know, I was I was talking about, you know, how, you know, more likely, especially since MJ was borderline to come back against you and see you feel pretty good that, I mean, given a month of, you know, rest that he's going to be ready if, if, if needed to play against uh, play in the bowl game. And I feel like especially now that Devin Leary is gone that it is even more critical that honestly, because I mean, I mean, yeah, Ben Finley played great, but we all know that, I mean, at the end of the day, you want MJ Morris to be your guy starting next year. So I feel like that yeah. getting him all the reps you can get, getting him the extra game against Maryland. I mean, that, that all, all that practices. does is just play even more benefit for next season, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, agree all, with that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus all the bowl practices that, you know, that you get the 15 or whatever it is, bowl practices yeah. you get leading up to it. That, yeah. That's the biggest deal to me all that win or law, win or lose, getting extra practices to evaluate where you have talent and where you need to add talent yeah. at every yeah. position um that's what's the most important thing in all of this yeah, i think this i would you know, agree so yeah. you yeah. want to get nine wins it'd be nice um but it's that's not it. um you know winning is what you what you want as the ultimate goal but this is a huge deal that we're getting at more prices so well but i, I was just i was just say real quick essentially right. these bowl games are just glorified exhibitions at this point with all the players opting yeah. out and the sure. uh, they, the the rankings don't even change, right? Because I think they said the final CFP rankings were released. Do they do one post yeah. bowl as well? No, they college do. football playoff doesn't. AP bowl. Well, does. AP, AP does. does. Yeah. Right, right, Cause, right. Because last year we went down a few spots it's, we, when we didn't play in, yeah. in the holiday bowl, and, they, and we're like, Frank, like you know, we totally could have gone to the top fifteen right. if we would have beaten yeah. UCLA, which UCLA. we were going to beat yeah. UCLA. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, just glorified um, exhibition bowl at this point. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, cause like, that's one thing too, that a lot of fans don't even necessarily remember that honestly, from a benefit perspective, I would say that's probably the biggest benefit of all is those extra practices. Cause yeah, keep in mind, absolutely. if you're not in a bowl game, you can't practice, you're done. You're you're done. done. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to have multiple weeks of basically, you know, get out on the like, field and talk about, talk about Virginia like, tech right now, they can't go to a bowl game right now no, Virginia. or Virginia, nope, Virginia Miami, game, Miami, Georgia tech can't yeah, go to a bowl it, game right now. So, and it's like those teams don't oh, really need it the Miami, most. Miami, that's what's <laughs> Miami. That's a crazy. After yeah. Tyler Van Dyke, all the trees and hype they had. Well, there's going to be a few five and seven teams that they say actually will get in this they year. They do, they do, because there's not enough teams that qualify. So then, then, but is Miami going to get one of those? Because you know what, it's, you don't, you know what that, so. no. that that tiebreaker is? It's academic. It's academic. So do you think? <laughs> is it? Is it really it academic? Yeah. It's academic wow. score, yeah. graduation rate type yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, well, the one I, thing which, go ahead, Michael. I was just going to say, App State also isn't going to bowl, and they finished six and six, but two of their wins. But they're the greatest FCS program teams. in North Carolina, so you can't <laughs> talk already, bad about but, them at all. Sorry. But they already told, I thought they were going to bowl. They, they, they didn't get no. the bowl because I said they said they were going to get a waiver. They, I guess they didn't oh. get the waiver. No, I think they filled all the bowls. I didn't see their name. Okay. 
I didn't see App State. Yeah, yeah. at least by now they, it should yeah. have been figured I, I out. The things I was reading in, on Twitter, of course, you know, you can't believe it. It's just as bad as Wikipedia, right? But um, they were going <laughs> to let them slide with those two FCS ones. So, yeah, I guess they did. That's true. That's true. Um, now, uh, and by the way, too, Greg, uh, so actually uh, back in 2011 when we played in Charlotte, it was still called the Belk Bowl. So actually 2011 and 2015. Oh, so we never played in the Car Bowl. Care Bowl. No, nope. Car Care Bowl, I think, was – Car Care Bowl was in uh, – Oh, Orlando. Five. Was 2000 – Was that Orlando? No, it was Yeah, that was Charlotte. Orlando. That, that was, that was, Russell, that was Russell Wilson's first year slash the Daniel Evans. Uh, no, that was. That was Papa John's. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, that was way – Mikey Car Care Bowl. Maybe it was in Charlotte. But it was in 2005 I we played was in a tire, I thought there was a Continental Tire Bowl that was played in Charlotte. And I can't I think believe the Mikey, it's not butter. Personally. I think so. I think there was a I think there was a Continental Tire Bowl. I think that was in Charlotte, and then okay. the Mighty Key Car Care Bowl, I believe, was in Florida. Okay, I'll take your word for it at this point. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I, it's it's, it's nine thirty at night. I don't know. Yeah, no, I get you. Uh, but now, the, so the one thing though, which uh, you know, kind of getting into here a little bit, you know, uh, you know, Michael kind of got into his. Uh, so if we do win this game and we get nine wins, four out of the last seven seasons, we would have had nine wins or more. And on top of that, too, like if you want to go down even further, six of the last seven years, we would have had eight wins or more. Mm-hmm. All, not not, well, not would. We have had six of the last yeah. seven seasons. We've had eight wins eight or wins. more, which is pretty, hey, pretty crazy. Stay, remember, I remember, guys, like 10 years ago, right? The goal was just get to a bowl game, right? Just get us a bowl game. Get a bowl game, beat UNC. Right. That was the goal. And the standards are even raised. And Dave Doran mm-hmm. has raised them with the talent he's brought in and the players mm-hmm. that they've had. It's it's um, expectations are greater now. I think the goal is yeah. maybe in ten years we're saying ten wins is a given, right? Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I want I want to be able to say that. I want I want to, but uh, getting this getting a ninth win against Maryland um, would be a really nice way to do it. Again, to me, the most important thing is getting those practices in. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm just looking here at these um, at these. Uh, the schedule that Maryland has played. Yeah, they didn't. They have not beaten anybody, mm-hmm. guys. I nope. mean, they, they, the I best win is the best win Michigan State, which and a bad Michigan State team. And Probably. Rutgers. At, Indi- at Indiana. Northwestern. Yeah. They beat Rutgers. Like you said, their, their best game was probably that seven-point loss at Michigan. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Can, can I close the loop real quick? Go for it. Continental Tire Bowl, 2002 to 2004. Meineke oh. Car Care Center Bowl. 2004 uh, to 2010 okay. and then belk and now dukes and we didn't play in either one of those i don't think um so it was but i do re- bowl and a car care bowl. yeah exactly <laughs> it's easy how you can get those confused but the reason i remember those two bowls existed because uh where we tailgate um there was there used to be this tailgate group that had a banner that said you sold your soul for the mighty key car care and tire bowl <laughs> championships and that was in reference to <laughs> carolina and their amfram classes so yeah, i just gosh. remember that banner there so i knew those two bowls existed in some form or fashion but anyway yep. i like now the one thing which i do want to kind of talk to you all about a little bit here because obviously again i mean with dave Dorn, I, you know we've already made the statement again we've won eight games the last six of the last seven seasons we've won nine games if we beat maryland and four out of the last seven which is crazy but i do want to talk a little bit because we didn't really talk about this on the live show but dj uyongole this is something which I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about here because this it kind of it kind of bugged me here a little bit again. We won't spend too much time on this, but uh, like it just really like are we a little bit off on Dabo Sweeney? Like to me, it just is a huge like what are we what are y'all doing here? Like like Clemson is a, is a team that is trying every single year to compete for a national championship, but yet literally like. I remember they they were talking about like in the first few minutes like how Dabo Swing put together like an hour of footage of DJ playing great football, being like, "This is the DJ I want, like this is DJ like that we need." And it's like, who, what other program out there? Like, does Nick Saban say, you know, please Mac Jones, we need you to play good? Like, well, no, like if, if you're not playing on. good enough, then let's put in somebody else in there. Like, I will me, say, I, just, I, don't know about that. I will say, not in the in college, but there's a recent story about. Um, uh, Mike McDaniels with the Miami Dolphins uh, made a highlight clip for um, Tua, which is sure. coincidental because this is we're talking about Tua's brother here um, that we're playing against. But Tua, because he made him a highlight clip and was trying to build up Tua's confidence, because really Tua's mm-hmm. biggest issue, part of it, is his own confidence. He thought he sucked. Yeah. And but it, uh, so, but it's not. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think I think to your point. I mean, so Dabo has five star, four star talent all over the place. 
He's yeah. a good coach because he makes he actually produces with them. Like I could yeah, argue right. that UNC is a not Pull. that way, right? They have four right. star guys, high star guys, and they're not producing very much with them. Um, yeah. And then he constantly a bad a bad Clemson team last year was still a ten win Clemson team, right? I, mm-hmm. I think I think yeah. he's a good coach person. I just think you've got a guy who sometimes you get a quarterback and he's just not that good, and he's just or he's yeah. or he's not he's not a five star quarterback. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress-Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress-Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress-Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them I out. I will say, I will say, look, they they lost uh, the two games, right? Or three, two games, right? Just, yeah, lost South Notre Dame, Carolina. Notre Dame and South Carolina, right? Right. South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So you lost two games. Um, I think DJ is a quarterback that doesn't make you better. I think he he's a decent quarterback. Like he doesn't elevate the team around him. And for everyone to say, well, Cade did this against Carolina. Carolina is the worst defense yes, in all yes. of Carolina's college football. <laughs> so there's no guarantee that Cade would have done any better in that South Carolina or Notre Dame game. Yeah. And the fact is, is that you really lost the game on your special teams. Now, DJ didn't play great against uh, South Carolina, but he played well enough for them to win the game. I mean, had they not had those special team you know, no. errors. Against South Carolina, no. I think it's, it's more of what they're seeing at the position. Against I don't Notre think, Dame, I think he did, but I just think it's um, put put it this way: the offense notably looked better when Cade Clubnick sure. was in at Clemson versus sure. like they weren't hardly moving much. And uh, and if you're going to argue that, you could say, well, you could say uh, DJ was not making their offense work against the worst defense. So, DJ DJ was eight of twenty nine. For right, ninety nine yeah. yards, just, one touchdown and an interception. And again, against the worst defense, right? No, 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 was yeah, that South against Carolina? South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. Oh, 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 what, what was he well, against? Again, you, what was he against? Uh, well, here, here, you want you want me to tell you how he did against UNC? Do y'all yeah, remember the, one, the first pass me, that DJ no, no. threw? Do, yeah, was, do y'all remember the first pass <laughs> pass that DJ good. threw against the UNC game? Yeah, it wasn't good. It was a touchdown. It was a curl right. route, mm-hmm. and did it hit? Did it hit the? Did, was it? Was it a little bit high? Did it hit him in the chest? It hit two yards They're, in front of the wide receiver's it, foot it on a, a curl war, route. Are we talking killer. about? Are we talking about Dabo here? Are we talking about DJ? Because your original question was: is, Are Dabo? Are we basically missing something here? Well, because I, I'm just saying that, like, like you're competing for a national championship. You just had a quarterback that you've been that you've been dying and trying to start. He just threw a ball two yards in front of the wide receiver's foot, and you're trying to compete for a national championship against Georgia, Alabama, and all these guys. Like, come on. Get that guy off, and then he should. And because again, you talk about well, he only lost two losses. The only reason they beat Syracuse is because they brought Cade Klubnick in. That's the only reason. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this question: How many games has Cade Klubnick played in this season? Three, four. Four, So he kept his red shirt. You're telling me he kept his red shirt. Yeah. Right. No, it's just so in ten games and and, and, and one ten games, maybe about to win eleven, and you kept the guy's red shirt. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I, I get you. I get what you're saying. But I mean, like, like do you think? Doing? Do you think State would yeah. have loved to have kept Michael Allen's red shirt? Yeah, right. But sure. they didn't. And he, and you know, at the end of the day, you want to win games. I just think, I think Dabo is a good coach. I I get people are annoyed yeah. by him and they don't like him. And they're frustrated because he seems like he's uh, just I don't know. People just don't Bro, like him. I I I I, 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 would, I, I like him. Okay I would cut it. my little pinky toe off for those national championships that Clemson has. Right. Right. No, absolutely. No, again, I'm definitely not doubting Dabo from an overall perspective. But I'm just like, what am I missing year, here? You yeah. know what I mean? No, I like, see like what he's, you're saying. He, like, he statistically had – DJ has statistically had more bad games over his career than he's had good ones. No, that's, that's fair. That's what I'm saying. That's Let fair. me make another comment. Yeah. Yeah. But they were in the – This they is were, not the but Clemson but they, show. <laughs> yeah, the last no, point no. I'm going to make is they were in the hunt to the very last regular season game. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. And again, we are I, not. The reason why I wanted to bring that up because obviously the NC State fans, we you know we're, we're you know we're we're trying to compete here for the top of the ACC, but also too because I literally was saying to my wife, Clemson will lose this game if they do not take out DJ. If they take out yeah. DJ, they will win. What happened? They took out DJ. 
they crushed UNC yeah. Soul. It, it, was, so, it was not even. Well, not you even know who lost yeah. to a lot of really good teams this season? Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Again, uh, you know, sorry to take that little bit of a jive here a little bit, but again, I mean, it's just. Lay I mean, had to get that a, off his chest, man. You could tell it was bothering him. <laughs> well, because again, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, with NC State football, we're going to have to worry about Clemson. I'll stupid because it bugged me too, because when he played against us, DJ played decently well. He played then he his, probably plays, his best game of the season. Yeah, but then he plays yeah. against USC and, and he throws the ball to the two feet yeah. in front of the wide receiver's foot. And I'm like, oh, yeah. we didn't get that. So it's crazy. you know, so so that was kind of my other thoughts too. And obviously from Greg's side, nothing good just happened. No, so. we're still okay. It was it's a bad call on Diamond. Like they caught okay. her for an offensive foul, and I didn't think it was. But gotcha, gotcha. Whatever. So anyway, though, so now so talking a little bit about football. I'm sorry, uh, you know. So again, football. Back to Clemson. No, I'm kidding. Back to Clemson. <laughs> no. So so we'll do a bowl preview here. Is again we get a little bit closer. Uh, we kind of know a little bit more in terms of who's transferring, um, who's sitting out, things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I do want to obviously talk about basketball here. So that's definitely kind of a big, big topic for sure. Um, and then this will kind of, uh, you know, because, again, we probably will spend, probably, you know, another eight, ten minutes or so here. And then we'll kind of move into part two here. Um, but obviously, you know, men's basketball has, you know, I would say the game against Pitt. I, I saw some of them out there saying, like, you know, this is kind of a, you know, establish, you know, your, you know what you're doing here like you know establish like you know because if you beat Pitt, it's not like a, oh my gosh you are amazing but it's like a okay we're, we're going to be competitive in the acc and you know obviously losing 68 to 60 on your home court uh starting off acc play is less than ideal for sure especially when you had the tournament that you did you know taking care of butler take care yeah. of dayton uh being competitive against kansas uh, so, Mickey, I know this is your, your your bread and butter, man. So, so I mean, what were your thoughts on that game? Uh, you know, and what should NC State fans take away from that game? Um, well, I think, um, you know, I, I think State is it's not a good not a good loss. Um, mm -mm. But um, thankfully, it is it's just the first of the season from the ACC play. Um, yeah. You know, I. I saw. I, I tuned in. I didn't get to watch a ton of the game, but I tuned in where we had. Um, we were down like I think it was twelve or so, um, like like five minutes left in the game or something like that. And I think. I mean, I think State's going to have to figure some things out. I, I don't think you're ever going to see a game this season where Jarkel Joiner and Jack Clark scores. I think it was they, they're literally they, yeah. field goal over twenty. 20. Over twenty. I mean, guys. Like, I mean, that's just. You're not going to win games doing that. Your, your, your point yeah. guard and your stretch four guy is not scoring. Like it's just not going to happen for state. I mean, um, the mere fact they were even in it is is just a testament, right? Right. Like, right. I'm trying. I'm going back here and see if I can find the stats from the game. But you know, it's, I mean, it's just not going to happen. Those kind of games. Now the question is, why did it happen? And right. yeah. I, I don't really know. I, I you could argue Jarkel has had a huge week. He's played C Player of the Week last week, right? And mm -hmm. I don't know yep. where he went to. I don't, I don't maybe, yeah. I mean, like I'm looking here at state state has state shot 35%. Um, Pittsburgh shot almost made a half their shots. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, if you're making half your shots, you're probably going to win the game. Um, and yep. uh, they were shooting 80% from free throw percentage. Um, neither team shot well from threes. Um, you know, there, there's, well, there's, there's a, there's not a lot there. I think, I just think it's, it's just score. They just shot the ball better than yeah. us, and that's just the way it is. For, well, for, for me, ahead, real quick, yeah, I'll just make three points. Cause, um, Go for it. So, one first point, I sent you this this video late, and I don't know if you ever saw it. Shout out to the Nash County rest area for having the game on the oh, yeah. uh, on the speakers at the rest <laughs> area. We stopped yeah. in on our way down, and I got to hear about five minutes of the game while we took mm -hmm. a break, so awesome on that. Um, but other than that, for me, um, that's a bad loss. Um it's hard to yep. shake it any other way. Um, it's a bad loss because this is a pit team that's not been very good the last couple of years, and that with well, a coach that's on the hot seat. Um, it's yeah. your opening game in at uh, PNC for ACC play. You're begging the fans to come out. You got to come out better than that if you want to build this fan base back up and uh, yep. get those butts in the seats. Um, other than that, I didn't get to watch any of the game. I checked out the stats. Um, yeah, we just didn't shoot the ball well, so that's the only thing I can yeah. really contribute to this conversation. Well, and the other thing too, which I'll say to it too, was that 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 kind of hurt because there was really two takeaways. First of all, yes, Jarkel Joyner and Jack Clark just had 
just awful games. But also on top of it, uh, I think Dusan Mohorchik uh, getting into foul trouble early yeah. really, you know, put us in a tough spot because uh, it really started to test, you know, our depth early there earlier than we thought, especially too, because Mohorchik has really proven himself to be a guy that fits Keats's offense perfectly because he's a guy that can go up and down the court. He has a guy that rebounds the ball well, can play defense. Uh, so I think he when does you, all the dirty you, work. He does a lot of the yeah. dirty work. And so when you have to rely on DJ Burns, Ernest Ross, and those guys earlier than you expected, it's going to put you in a really tough position. Now you kind of say, well, that's probably going to happen again at some point this season where Dusan is going to get into foul trouble. Absolutely it is. So to, But the other thing which I will say from the positive side, uh, I know Rob McLean was actually one that actually pointed this out, but the one thing which I did love was the you know the the my bad guys that you know that you could clearly get from Jarkel Joiner and uh, specifically, but I mean you know it just shows to me like that that we have some leadership in that locker room that goes beyond Keats that goes to the players themselves. Uh, so you know t- to me I say hey listen you know we have I think it was like six or seven Q1 right now opportunities on the table for the season. And so at the end of the day, you know, if this is, you know, and again, I know a lot of state on the, a lot of, you know, state fans are either glass half full, you know, or like, you know, you're crazy by saying this, but I mean, Hey, at the end of the day, if this is kind of that wake up call and this kind of like this one off, which can kind of spin into a lot more big games coming up here, you know, starting off, starting up with, uh, as of tomorrow, cause this is Monday starting off tomorrow, then so be it, you know, but we'll see it's, you know, time will tell Michael, what are your thoughts? Yeah. I mean, it's a bad loss. Like I could do everything like Greg was saying a lot. I'm thinking along the same lines. You could first ACC game in such a big year for Keats. You can't come out like that. But at the same time, I don't think you can take much from it when you have Clark and Joyner go over 20. Like that's never, mm-hmm. I, they're never going to go over 20 in a game again. Like, no. it, like no. if they go five for 20, which would still be a terrible night we win the game. The fact that we only lost by eight, I was surprised. I didn't get yeah. a chance to watch any of it, but looking at the box yeah. score, seeing them go over 20 and we only lost by eight points. Like I, yeah. he, it's one of those, I think he, the quote from Keats after the game was, was you just flush it and, and move on. And I think that's probably the best thing for this team. Um, yeah. 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 Hey, no. hey bef- before Sorry, we go Greg. to the next subject, I thought I would never say this, but congrats to UCLA for winning the women's national soccer championship. Oh, I just yeah. saw that flash up on the scoreboard. They beat Carolina three. Hey. three yeah, to my, two. Oh, really? My friend, yeah. my friend texted me. He said that they were down two to one with you, like 10 minutes left UNC in the game. UNC was up two zero in the 80th minute two one yep. with 16 seconds left, but UCLA managed to score and then went in overtime. Yeah. Wow. So That's pretty impressive. I, so I, I, I know we, I know we, we were, UCLA. We, yeah. I know we didn't like UCLA in the holiday bowl stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you Cheers. what, AB, ABC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> real quick, exactly. I, we, real quick, we got in an elevator yesterday at our hotel, leaving Raleigh, and uh, the guy holds the holds the elevator for for my family, and I was like, "Thanks." Oh, he's wearing a UCLA sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's all I said. I said I didn't even I didn't Did even say out? thank you. I just said thank. Did you get out of the elevator? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, it was only one floor, but uh, yeah, I was trying yeah. to shut it on him, but it didn't it didn't let me. Yeah. So with that being said, so we're going to take a pause right here. We're going to talk a little bit more about men's basketball, NC State, but AC in general, uh, in part two, talk about women's basketball, who, again, looks like they have they have beaten Georgia, uh, which is definitely a huge revenge win on the road. So a great win there. Vegas knew uh, what they were talking about. Yeah, talk about that. No, I said uh, Vegas also, knew what they were talking about. Oh, Vegas knew what they were talking about. I thought, I, I thought you said they knew what they were talking about. I was nah. like, yeah, they did. Hell yeah, they, they beat them. Nah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Vegas did. Uh it didn't look like it at first in the first half, but hey, it turned it around. Um, and also, too, again, we'll talk women's basketball, talk Trey Turner and and, and uh, AC Bowls, stuff like that more. So make sure to tune in for part two. We will see you all there. And as always, go pack, baby. Oh.